And so the top three, if we're really saying, okay, how do we, how do we make this applicable for you at home based on my experience is let's take the top three and let's just apply the top three. Now, number one, hands down, most common in my experience, we got another bad marker, we're going to get rid of that one too, is vitamin B12. Vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 deficiency is super common. It is the most common deficiency I see, and I do more nutritional testing, arguably, than anyone in the world. Like, I, I could probably argue that and be right. I don't know for certain, but I do nutritional testing on every single person who walks in the door, and the number one deficiency I see is vitamin B12. And so when we ask, what does vitamin B12 do? I think it's important for you to understand the mechanism of why B12 deficiency causes, for many people, causes a lot of fatigue problems, and it can prevent them from ever being energized. So let's talk about that. The one, one reason, there's several reasons vitamin B12 can cause low energy. One is because you need vitamin B12 to detoxify. So to detoxify from chemical compounds, environmental exposures to things that can, that can damage your body, you've got to have adequate methylcobalamin, which is what vitamin B12 is. You, this, it's very important for the process of methylation. So if you've ever heard anybody talk about methylation, this is where B12 becomes very, very critical. So for one, it's important to detoxify. Number two, you need vitamin B12 to produce choline. Now I showed you over here, choline. It's a B vitamin-like compound that you require. B12 is required to produce choline in the body. And if you don't have adequate B12, you end up choline deficient. And that choline deficiency will bottom out your neurotransmitters and make you feel more emotionally drained and more mentally tired all the time. Acetylcholine deficiency is like having brain fatigue versus like muscle fatigue, right? So choline, very, very critical, very, very important. A third reason is vitamin B12 deficiency will elevate a chemical called homocysteine. And this plays back into methylation in a certain extent. But homocysteine causes inflammation. It just causes chronic inflammation. If you have too much of this, it creates an increase in inflammation. And inflammation, just basically from a long-standing perspective, acute inflammation, not so big a deal. You know, if you get a cut or a scrape or an injury. But chronic inflammation that never goes away wears your body out. It wears out your resources. It makes your body overutilize your resources. Now the fourth and probably the most significant that I see is this right here, anemia. Vitamin B12 stimulates the bone. So if you got, you know, over here, what does B12 do? If we draw us a picture of a nice bone here, inside your bone you have bone marrow, right? And that marrow produces red blood cells. And these red blood cells, when they're born, they're born very large. Um, so if we look at how big they are when they're born, they're very big, but then they have to mature. And as they mature, they get smaller. And eventually, they take on that concavity, that, that biconcave shape. It looks like a little discoid. Well, to generate red blood cells from your bone marrow, this requires B12. And this maturation process requires vitamin B12. So what happens to many people with B12 deficiency is either one, they don't make enough red blood cells, or two, the red blood cells that they're making are not maturing properly and they're too big and they're too clumsy and they can't carry oxygen. That's what anemia is. It means you can't carry enough oxygen and oxygen is where it all ends when it comes to energy. If you wanna make energy, you've gotta have oxygen. That's why we have, that's why we breathe, right? And if you don't have the ability to carry that oxygen from the lungs to the rest of your tissues, your organs, then you get tired really quickly. So if you're tired in this way, um, shortness of breath, unendearing fatigue, severe muscle pain when you try to work out, or exercise intolerance, like these are types of fatigue that oftentimes look at, you want to look at that vitamin B12 level, that B vitamin level, ask your doctor to measure it for you. And whatever you do, do not measure this in the serum. It is highly inaccurate. You want to ask your doctor to run an intracellular test, meaning looking inside the cell at your level and not looking in your blood because your blood is very misleading when it comes to vitamin B12 as a test. Now, there are some tests. Some doctors will use this test right here, this 
homocysteine. I talked about this last week. We talked about heart disease and said this was a, a byproduct or a, a chemical byproduct that can increase your risk for heart disease. It's also a byproduct that can mean that you don't have adequate B12. So some doctors might run this to help get insight as to your B12 levels. And then there's another test that some doctors might run. It's a little bit more accurate. It's called MMA, methylmalonic acid. Okay, so these two tests can sometimes be used as a marker to, to help to try to determine your vitamin B12 levels, but intracellular uh, levels, looking at intracellular levels is far more accurate if you really, really want to know whether or not you have a deficiency. So this is by far, number one, hands down, the top deficiency that I see in my practice on two decades now uh, of, of creating chronic problems with fatigue, and it can do it in many, many ways. It's not just one, and that's why it's so common. It can create detoxification backup, which leads to fatigue, acetylcholine deficiency, homocysteine backup, which leads to inflammation, chronic inflammation, and anemia, which reduces your capacity to carry oxygen, which makes you just anemic and tired. So B12, hands down, arguably the top. Hey, and if you missed the earlier part of this series, click right here so you can go back and get caught up. The information there might be critical to helping you on your path to better health. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe for updates below. Have a great day.